Let me know what you think and if you got any ideas for us. I think it's good. You think it's good? <laughs> yeah. You like it? Yeah. <laughs>
and they wanted I think 10 or 15 dollars for it I'm like hey it doesn't have a remote you know I'll be happy to take it for five bucks and they said sure and so I took it for five bucks and it sold for 35.95 which is way more than I thought I was gonna get for it I knew it'd be worth some money but I thought without the remote used you know but I think what sold it is I took a really nice picture of it and I took a picture that had the box in it as well and it uh, it's in pretty good shape so really nice little flip make about 26 to 28 dollars depending on how shipping goes speaking of the end of man this guy's going out to Vito Vito thank you so much for the purchase and we hope he brings you great luck hey that reminds me sometimes in shipping this stuff comes off I've had two people complain about it I, I want you to know there's quality control here so Reagan is quality control she's always making sure everything looks good before we put them in there and just unfortunately sometimes in those bags they get rubbed off so if it's really bad and you would like to exchange it just send me a message and we can take care of it all right I don't know where this came from so that means it came from Goodwill and it means Blue Ridge Mama bought it and it's Virginia Tech Hokey Nation and it's a Nike T dry fit and it is a 3XL and it would have probably unless you got it at the dollar bin it would have cost 3.99 and it sold for 18 bucks 18 bucks so to me that translates to right around an 8 to 9 dollar profit so if you're doing the math on that let's say just for the sake of argument it's a 3 dollar fee it's not that much but we'll say it's 3 dollars let's say it's 3 dollars to ship it's probably a little bit more than that but they'll average out so six dollars right there and it's four dollars in cost so ten bucks in eighteen bucks out it's about an eight dollar profit all right before i forget this i had a viewer send me something and there's been a lot of people who have sent me things and sometimes i can't get down to that post office down there in bedford see i i work 35 minutes this direction and the post office is like eight minutes this direction and that's where my p.o box is but I have my my oldest boy take stuff to that post office and sometimes I'll take it to the other one on my way home from school but to drive down there and come home after working all day sometimes is a little bit of a pain so I try to go down there once once a week maybe twice and so sometimes I pick that stuff up and it may you may send something to us and it may be a week two weeks before I actually talk about it and I apologize but this came and I just had, I opened it and I was going to save it for another show and I opened it and I just thought, I've got to show people this. This is really kind. So, so there's a card that goes with it as well, but I'm going to show you what we got. All right. So first of all, it came in this eBay bag and it came in this 3M packaging that I had recognized somebody talking about. And this stuff's cool. Now, I don't know the cost of it, so I'm not recommending it. I got to check that out. But, but I, if I like the cost of it, I might try some of this stuff out. And I guess you cut it to size and you wrap whatever you're wrapping in it and it doesn't stick to the item but it sticks to itself it will stick to itself with no tape so this came in no tape perfectly packaged up and it took me a little bit of time to get it out actually when i got it out i kind of got a little period eyed for a minute so if you've been around a long time i used to put this intro on every single one of our videos but some people are like that thing's 30 30 seconds long just get to the video already so we put it on every now and again and here's the sign that uh, that somebody found and sent to us. And I'll tell you who in just a second. It says, other things may change, but we start and end with family. So, look, I'm getting a little emotional again. You know, when I started this, I got to stop for a minute. When I started this channel, it was just to have fun, to share what I know, and to learn from other people. And to teach my kids, because my kids love YouTube and they go around vlogging themselves and stuff. I thought, let me learn how to do this. Maybe it's something I can teach them and, and I can do it with something that I know and that I have fun with. And I asked my wife to help me make that intro and she's like, you're crazy. And I was like, I know I am. This is what I want to do. And I made that intro and I love it. And I realize it's long, but it really is exactly the way I feel. And this is exactly the way I feel. So this is going to go somewhere probably in here. It may go out in the Commonwealth cabin. I'm not sure. But I love it. And I thank you so very much. All right. And this is uh, from Millie. And it says, Aunt Mildred's Things on eBay. Uh, love your channel. And it says, Commonwealth Picker, Kevin. I mentioned this packing material in a comment on your channel. Then I found the perfect gift for you uh, for your new shed. So I wrapped it in the product, not a 3M rep, just just love the product. Saves on shipping sometimes. A sample is also enclosed, and that's what I showed you. It only sticks to itself. So 
Well, I'll tell you what, the, the packaging is cool, but that sign is amazing. So I really do appreciate it. And just to take a minute, we are overwhelmed with the support we have, and we really do appreciate each and every one of you. It, You know, I joked at the beginning of this thing, I said, hey, if I get 10,000 subs, I can quit my job and I can stay home with my family all the time. Never thinking that it was a possibility, and now it seems like a possibility. And I love my job too, but I love my kids more. So uh, I don't think that's in our future, but uh, it is fun to think about, and we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. So thank you. All right, this is Baby Can Read, and you know, I don't know, can baby, can that baby read really? Are we really claiming that? Well, I guess I just claimed it. Uh, I sold it. This guy sold for $24.95, and I paid a couple of bucks at a yard sale at the 2,900 mile yard sale, and I almost instantly regretted buying it. I'm like, you know, this thing's been used. I gotta go through, I gotta pull everything out. I ended up doing it. It is, I think this is gonna be media mail, it is uh, as seen on TV, but it is all completely educational and uh, phonics based and all that stuff. So either way, I'm pretty happy with that sale. We're going to make about 18 to 20 bucks on it. I have an anime going out to Judy and Judy says, love your videos. Hope to meet you at the reseller rally. Uh, I will use this when I buy storage units to help sort out the trash. I guess that'll work for him. He, he's pretty good at that, I think. I don't know. It's hard to get those tickets to that reseller rally out there. Hopefully I can get one. John, if you're listening, I need a ticket. Or Ronnie. Ronnie Hart. Hart Pickers. Give me a ticket. All right, here's a pair of post-Vietnam War boots. And I believe they're called jump boots, maybe. They're combat boots, field boots. I don't know. At any rate, 19... If you ever come across these boots, you'll find the date in the top up here. I got these from a friend of mine at school and he sold a bunch of stuff to us before Christmas and I think basically we came to an agreement and I thought you know what when these sell these are gonna make all my money back and the rest of the stuff I can make profit on but I was pretty fair with him you know because <laughs> he's a buddy of mine so I was uh, trying to get it to a deal where he was happy and I was happy and we came to an agreement. I can't really remember what it was, to be honest with you, but I think I remember in my head thinking, when these sell, I'm gonna break even. So that means to me that I probably gave him 40 bucks for the whole lot. Now, this one says 477, which is April 1977, which just happens to be days after this Commonwealth picker was born in California. And this one says 976, so this is uh, before I was born. Anyway, they sold, and I'm happy to get them out of here. $50 plus shipping. All right, here is a Ralph Lauren Blake shirt. And this Ralph Lauren was something that I almost passed up. And it was from the Goodwill in $3.99. And, you know, you buy this stuff, and you make like $5 on it. And it's long tail. It's like, really? Is it worth your time? But if you're careful enough on some of the Ralph Laurens, you go look at the bottom. Because the tags aren't always at the top. And so when I see something like this, I'll do a quick check to see if there's a tag. And it's a $70 brand new tag. So this one was bought for $3.99 and it sold for $30 plus shipping. So I'm really happy with that sale. It's a nice little profit on that shirt. And it was a pretty good size. It's an XL, so I like selling those big sizes. All right, so we're finally going to get to uh, give you a little bit of update on that Commonwealth cabin. I know it's taken a long time for us to get out there. I feel it. But we're going to get out there. Unfortunately, we're not in there. And baseball tryouts are starting here in the next couple of days. So if I look like I'm refreshed right now, some days I might be coming in here like, oh my goodness. You know, I wake up at 6 o'clock and I go and baseball will end at about 6.30. So we're going to go about 12 and a half hours. And then i got to come back here and then I'm going to do a video with y'all. Then we're going to ship that stuff out of here. Then I'm going to go edit a video and then I'm going to go to bed. So hopefully... Uh, we can survive. I might be taking a few days off of school this spring for sure. So at any rate, thank you all for joining us and thank you for your kindness and hang around and we'll let, I think me and Turner did that video. So come check out the Commonwealth cabin with us. All right, we have a homeschool hustler with us today. Chewbacca is with us today. <laughs> you see what that says, y'all? It says Wookiee of the year. <laughs> oh, geez. All right, Turner, what is that thing? Oh, uh, what is it called again? It's Bart Simpson. And it has a diamond in it. Yeah. You know what, buddy? When I was a little little guy, I remember watching the first episode of The Simpsons. I remember my mom thinking we probably shouldn't watch it because Bart was so disrespectful. 
but we watched it anyways and i remember that night so well because it was also the first night my mom let me get cookie crisp you like cookie crisp yeah. don't you can you believe that commonwealth grammy wouldn't let me get cookie crisp when i was a kid who would have thought eating a bowl of cookies would be bad for you yeah hm. it's good isn't it <laughs> yeah. All right, that's all for. I know what Mark Simpson is. You know who Bart Simpson is? Yeah, but I don't watch it. No, <laughs> no, you don't, do you? Yes. All right, that little guy right there. Let me let me take a look. It's from 1990. I think it started in 1989. Is when that started. I should have uh, maybe earlier than that. Anyway, it's over six dollars and forty-one cents. <laughs> Not a big profit, but it came from the Mount Plushmore sale. So we're gonna add it to the total. And Turner's going to have just enough money for his dollar, and that's about it. Man. Although, you guys Do did, we? you know what y'all did the other day that I thought was really sweet? You what? made Valentine's oh, yeah. for the people at the old folks' home, yes. didn't you? Yeah, that was nice of you. Did you get to make them? Yes. Did you and Sissy make them with Mama? Yes. Yeah? Okay, well, that was very nice of you. Tell them thanks. Thanks. Bye. Right. Chewy. <laughs> And let's take a look here real quick. We just added two dollars. It's a little bit more profit than that, but it's not three. So we're at fourteen oh nine so far for the Mount Plushmore sale. All right, so me and Turner are in the shed. We have stalled out. We have had ten days of basically nothing. So I changed the plans on Travis and Lisa, and so that delayed us a little bit. And they reorganized and got the things that I asked for and wanted to use in here. We're basically going to put a storage bench that's going to run exactly that length out go all the way across down to here and then come all the way out to the door and underneath it we're going to have storage and a nice tabletop and some shelving up here and so i changed my plans on all that we're going to put a couple of corner shelves back here as well i think we're going to film kind of from this direction a lot of times and then they got home and got the stuff organized and designed the plans and did all that and then the flu hit their house and they got six kids so we have been delayed so i just thought i'd give you a little peek around in here obviously there's the storage area it's pretty deep i don't have the exact footage i think it's probably 16 feet back there 16 feet of that loft we're going to put some of the antique booth stuff matter of fact i put some back there already back there and then we're going to put some other things that uh, are large that we have listed on ebay back on this side I don't think we're going to put anything in here that isn't listed. This is going to be for all the listed items. We're going to use some of the storage inside an eBay cave for the unlisted items and still do a lot of picture taking in there. We're going to put some of this board, some of these uh, white painted boards up here you saw in previous videos. We're going to put those along that wall and cover that up and use that for pictures. This table is going to be out of here. We're going to mount this paper roller to that US Postal Service thing, and we're probably gonna put it right there. Have the bubble wraps gonna come through here. We took it out of here for now, but that's gonna be kind of neat. And it'll end up going right on our table. This is we're gonna be doing our packaging and whatnot right there on that long bench when it comes in here. I would like to figure out a way to get up there easier than having a ladder in here. So we're gonna probably come up with something. Now, we're probably gonna put some license plates up along that row right there, something interesting like that. I was thinking all these license plates that are coming in, we're eventually going to have too many. So the storage back here, we're going to have shelves of some sort back here. Got that from Richard, the storage guy in Atomatics. And so all this will be storage over there. Along this wall will all be storage. Lower little storage rack there. Storage all the way over there and all the way down this wall. And then here in the middle, in the middle we'll have storage as well. And along here, we're gonna have a, a, a rack to hang clothes in and a little bench below the rack for some shoes. We're going to put a license plate on each one of the storage shelves, I think is the idea is what we'll do. So we'll have a pathway walking down here. We'll be able to walk down all the way down here. Then we'll have a pathway this way. How you doing, bud? Hi. <laughs> we'll have a pathway this way and then a pathway back this way and be able to go out here. That's the plan anyways. And of course we have the storage up there as well. That's going to be used for packaging materials. It's going to be used for bubble wrap and USPS boxes and regular boxes and all that. That's what we're going to use that little space. That's only four feet 
up there. So that's the plan. That TV right there, I was gonna just buy a used one, but man, I got a great deal on this. So I bought a new one and we're gonna put it up right here. We've already got the mount for it. So I have a nice big TV to watch my favorite uh, YouTubers out there. And I don't know, where should I put these extra license plates? I was thinking about maybe even up there along the wall or maybe just here along the wall, all over the place. I don't know. I've got some things we're gonna put up along this wall right here and some decorations wrong along this wall right here. So anyway, it'll be fun to figure out how we decorate this thing and I'm excited about it. This is gonna be the main computer area. There'll be a desk that runs the same height all the way around, it'll be like an L shape. And we're gonna put our computer there and printer and all that stuff. That's how it's gonna work. So let me know what you think and if you got any ideas for us. I think it's good. You think it's good? <laughs> yeah. You like it? Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna have to come up with a nice little place for Turner to sit in here too. Have a nice little comfy chair. You can watch some TV on there, some SpongeBob or some <laughs> Star Wars or what you've been watching lately, Kung Fu Panda? Uh, yeah. <laughs> all right, thanks for joining us, y'all.